Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about a very important topic, which has to do with how to manage browser drivers within Selenium. Millions of years ago, in a far, far away galaxy, browser drivers used to be managed in this way. Just kidding. Maybe it wasn't that long ago, but it sure feels like it, considering how fast things are moving these days. So as you all know, we used to have to download the driver for each of the browsers that we wanted to use. And then we would need to set a system property to tell Selenium where to find the driver. To make matters worse, we used to have to keep track of the new versions that came out. So anytime a new version came out, you had to download that version. To help ease the pain, WebDriver Manager came in. This manager allows you to not have to worry about downloading the drivers and setting system properties. It simply manages the drivers automatically for you. So we no longer have to download drivers and set system properties. It makes life so much easier. I even made a video on this that you can find in the video card above. But the exciting news is that you no longer need to use either one of these. Yes, you heard me right. You no longer need to have WebDriver Manager or a system property to set up a browser driver. Are you curious about how to do that? Let's find out. So if you're using Selenium 4.6.0 and above, you are able to do that already. As it turns out, Selenium 4.6.0 comes bundled with Selenium WebDriver and they're calling it Selenium Manager. So you don't need to have a separate dependency in your POM file for WebDriver Manager. All you need is the Selenium dependency and you're good to go. Let's see how the code will look like now. On the top here, you can see what WebDriver Manager would do. It would set up your WebDriver Manager for the driver that you wanted to use. And then you would create a new Chrome driver, Safari driver, Firefox driver, and away you went. But now you can completely bypass calling WebDriver Manager and simply create a new instance of the driver that you want to use. In this example, I'm showing Chrome driver. Selenium will automatically take care of driver management. Have questions? Leave them below. Like the video, share it, like it, and subscribe. See you in the next one.